Hey, hey there, welcome to the show. All right, first off, pick which game you want to play. Balance your mind, patience. Thank you. How do I react? Should I just not? What is what is that on the thing? Now, why don't you tell me how many people are going to be playing this game? Okay, you're a single player. Is that right? Okay, why don't you type in your name, Super? Okay, your buzzer is B, as in Bora. On, which I think is some sort of chemical or something. Uh, Alright, pay attention. People screw this up all the time. As soon as you think you know the answer to a question, buzz in. Then you have to hit the number that corresponds to the answer you want. You got that? Ten. Good luck. Nine. Eight. And get rid of the desktop. Five. Take it to black. Four. Here we go. Three. Chemistry. Don't just play God, be God. Daddy. I should tell you now that this week's theme is Trivia Pot Pie. That's right, trivia with a flaky crust. No, 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 really, that's just our way of saying there is no theme this week. That's right, we just wrote a bunch of questions, and now you're going to sit there and enjoy them. Mm -hmm, you heard me, enjoy them. It's not enough just to play them. Oh, no, you have to like them. You know why? Because I said so. Okay, you ready to go? Let's do it. Question number one. This category is known as working 69 to 5. Get this one right, you get a grand. Heads up, here it comes. If you had sex angular sex, how many different ways would you be doing it? 6, 16, 60, or 66? Nope. And when you are 16, you're only doing it one way. Alone. Should have picked this. <laughs> Something sex angular has six angles, so you'd be doing it six ways to Sunday. Huh, think about that. Six different ways at about a minute fifteen per position, that's almost... What? What? Time to pick a category. We're calling this one X plus Y equals... TV? You get it right, you get 2K. Okay, don't be afraid, but you're going to need your math skills on this one, because it's an algebra question. And your typing skills, because it's a fill in the blank, too. Here it goes. X minus Y equals two guys and a girl. If oh, go for it. I they dropped a pizza place, but kept the two guys and a girl. Now, if we could just get them to drop the two guys and the girl, the show would be perfect. Give me a category. Answer question three. The category, sucking the dirt out of life. And this one's worth $1,000. Hey, so you know how you can buy these uh, internet filters that make you think you can prevent your kids from finding all the smut that's on the web? I, I, no, no, they, they work, they work. Suppose you wanted to filter out Carney Wilson's recent live internet broadcast, which... Brave lass that she is, Carney Wilson underwent surgery live on the internet to reduce the size of her stomach. <laughs> now, if anyone asks Carney if she's got guts, you can say yes and show them the pictures to prove it. All right, I need a category. Hallelujah! Bow your heads and pray to four. For your enjoyment, why they have three fingers. You're looking at $3,000 on this one. Okay, imagine that Homer Simpson gets fired from the Springfield nuclear power plant. Considering which state has the highest number of nuclear reactors, where would... Out of the 110 nuclear reactors in the U.S., Illinois has 13. Four more than any other state. 
So if you live in Illinois, keep on smoking and eating that red meat because you're bound to get cancer anyway. At the end of round one, we'll be back with round two right after these messages. To learn more about an advertiser, hit any key on your keyboard. We'll show you more information after you leave the game. Well, beer A has sort of a stale, skunky, yeasty flavor. Disgusting. Nauseating. Try beer B. Okay, uh... Now that's fresh! That's Budweiser. Get out of here! I don't believe it! Tasting is believing. When I tell my husband, he's gonna totally freak! Today, Welcome back. Time to play round two, where the values are doubled. You ready? Good. We're starting. All right, pick a category. For your enjoyment, primetime takedown. And this one's going to be worth $4,000. Well, it's been a long time coming, but the wait is finally over. That's right. The WWF Smackdown is here, baby. If Stone Cold Steve Austin loses, the, the Gorgons are three mythological sisters who turned anyone who looked directly at them into stone. And if you think those girls are tough in the ring, you ought to try breaking up with one of them. They give a whole new meaning to the term icy stare. Time to pick a category. Well, I hope you're all rested up, because you're about to take on a dis or dat. <laughs> this dis or dat category name is... Orgiastic art. Okay, listen closely. I'm going to read off the names of seven very respectable actors. And for each one, I'd like you to tell me if they were in the Stanley Kubrick masterpiece Spartacus or the Bob Guccione porn epic Caligula. As each one appears before you, if the person was in Spartacus, press 1. If that person was in Caligula, press 2. And to skip it, press 4. You get $1,000 for each right answer, and you lose 1000 for each one you get wrong, or you don't get to. Okay, you got 30 seconds. You ready? Let's dance. Malcolm McDowell in Spartacus or Caligula? Tony Curtis. Kirk Douglas. Helen Mirren. Lawrence Olivier. John Gilgood. One more. Peter O'Toole. That'll do it. Perfect, and with time to spare, no less. Here you go. Congratulations, let's move on. Give me a category. Seven, lucky, lucky seven. Here we have Broadway bound and gagged. I'll give you 4,000 clams for this bad boy. Let's see how you handle this one. If Jane Eyre were turned into a music... At the end of Jane Eyre, Mr. Rochester is blinded in the fire that kills his wife, and Jane marries him. <laughs> they had to change the part about Mr. Rochester's arm getting burned because with the makeup on, he couldn't do the jazz hands. Alright, I need a category. Two, four, six, eight, push your eight is jail, fake, go eight! The category is Cosmo Nut. How does $4,000 grab you? And now, your question. Imagine that last August, you were flying the troubled Russian... Way back in August, the last three astronauts on Mir, two Russians and a French guy, abandoned the space station to leave it floating around in space. Yeah, that's great. Apparently Russia thought it was easier to abandon the space station than to call a tow truck. Just one more reason, we're number one. Go USA, yeah. Time to pick a category. Aloha, question number nine. For your viewing pleasure, bam, pow, genuflect. You want 6,000 bucks? Give me your right answer. Okay, freaks. Imagine this little bat scenario. Batman and Robin are in a bank that's been robbed. Batman deduces the thief must be the Pope. What would be...
the Holy See is the official name for the office and jurisdiction of His Holiness, the Pope. <laughs> but I'll tell you, if the Pope is going to be one of Batman's arch rivals, he's going to have to start wearing a little more makeup and learn to laugh like this. <laughs> I love doing that. It's so cool. That's the end of round two. We'll be right back with round three after this. So in the middle of the movie, and I'm like, oh my god, the good character is the one. Santa makes talking seem overrated, doesn't it? Air crisps. One taste, and you'll be back. Welcome back. Time to play round three. All right, I hope you're all together because we're going. All right, this category. Ten fingers and ten toes. Would you like to have a cheap cigar? For your viewing pleasure, a McBeal to go, please. I'll give you 4,000 clams for this bad boy. Think fast. It's question time. Where would a TV show called Ellie McBeal Street? Beale Street in Memphis, Tennessee is home to the famous Beale Street Blues. <laughs> yep, Ellie McBeal Street is a great show. I mean, the plots don't make a lot of sense, but they always got to this woman in the bar singing the blues. That, uh, wait, uh, you know what, that's, that's Ellie McBeal, isn't it? I'm sorry, now I'm confused. Alright, I need a category. It's 11 minus 1 plus 2 minus 1 is 11. We're calling this one, Skip the Surgeon and Save Big Bucks. And this one's worth $6,000. Say, have you heard the news? The latest thing in plastic surgery for the lips is called Alloderm. Oh, I'd love to try it, but I just don't have the cash. Oh, there's got to be a way to get those Harry Hamlin pouty lips. Suppose I want to save money and do my own... Yet another medical breakthrough, alloderm, which is used to make lips look fuller, is made from the skin of dead people. <laughs> oh man, these lips look great. Here we have lips, what's out? Give me a category. Uh-oh, fresh flat tits eyesore. It's time for a Tinker Lake Test Drum. One gibberish category coming up. Missing body parts that attract attention. The opening value of this gibberish question is 10,000 bucks. Now check this out. As the time disappears, so does the money. So the sooner you buzz in, the better. Okay, settle down and see if you can tell me what this rhymes with. Go for it. Type in your answer. Yeah, I know that the giant said he smelled the blood of an Englishman, but um, I think it was the smell of those magical beans that gave Jack away. You know what I'm talking about? Time to pick the category. Look at the green. It's that Dean. Well, what do we have here? Slurring your nursery rhymes. And this one's going to be worth $6,000. All right, grab your drinking hat. And finish this nursery rhyme, damn it. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. My close p er, friend Hops gives the beer the bitter flavor as on a vine it grows. <laughs> and I'll tell you something else, too. After a couple of choice brewskis, even Mary starts looking pretty good. <laughs> Alright, I'm okay now. I'm alright. All right, the category. Ain't no love like number 14. This category is known as She's Mighty Mighty, Mad at You. How does $4,000 grab you? Okay, you know that song. She's a brick house. Imagine your girlfriend really is a brick Tuck pointing is a quick and relatively painless procedure where the crumbling grout between bricks is replaced with new, firmer grout. 
Although, keep in mind, those buildings that you see in architectural magazines, <laughs> they're not real. That's it. Round three is over. I'm going to take care of a little business, and then I'm coming back with your jack attack. Play poker online with other people live at www.2am.com. Which do you prefer, playing games or waiting to play games? If you need speed, you need X2 modem technology from U.S. Robotics. Just 28K? No way. Check out the X2 modem. Why wait? Jack attack. When you see two words on the screen that match, hit your buzzer. If you're right, I'll give you 2,000 bucks. If you're wrong, you're going down 2,000. But don't forget, remember the clue. Not any old word's gonna do it. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Adam Sandler math. Gee, how much math do you need when you count everything in millions? Like I always say, it doesn't matter whether you win or lose as long as you get to play with yourself. Now get the hell away from the computer, will ya? Because... You don't know Jack! Howdy kids, this is Peco Sucky here, telling you to tune in next week for another exciting episode of You Don't Know Jack the Net Show. Woohoo! <laughs> and they didn't even pay me to say this. Woohoo! Nice work, people. Cue the commercials, all right? Hey, Cookie, are we doing this again? Hey, if you want to do another one, just yeah, let me know. And concerned about my okay, performance. Okay, well, shalom.